Do I have? Yeah. All right. Welcome, guys, to the live stream of Lights On, presented by Gloving.com, sponsored by our good friends over at Glow. And today, you're going to be hanging out with me, Skittles, and no one else, because no one wants to hang out with me. But I do have some awesome news for eight of you and some not so awesome news for the other eight of you because today I'm going to be announcing who made it from the top 16 into the top eight and one step closer to that $1,500 grand prize. But before I get into that, you guys know my drill. I make you guys wait a few minutes before I show you the pretty little graphic with all the awesome names that made it through. Um, so first, let's talk about the top 16 matches. I'm going to talk about a few that, you know, I really enjoyed watching, a few that a lot of you guys probably enjoyed watching. Um, and then we'll just get straight into it. I'll show you, uh, you know, who's victorious this round. Um, first one I want to talk about, let's talk about Havoc versus Megasloth. Um, this matchup, again, you're having, not again, you're having <laughs> two completely different styles. Um, go off against each other. And that's actually something that I saw across all um, of the top 16 matches. There's, you know, definitely Glovers of different strains going at it. So that's really fun to watch. Um, I'm glad I'm not judging it because that would be really hard. So shout out to Ice Cream Teddy, Tangles, and Vincent Van Flo for doing that for this competition because... Um, yeah, we wouldn't be able to do this without the help of you specifically and your companies. So thank you. I love you guys. But let's get back into it. Havoc, um, throughout the whole competition, been throwing very, very solid shows. To me, you know, he does a great job at the pacing of his show and the musicality of his show. Uh, the pacing, you know, he starts off um, pretty minimal. He starts off without his thumbs on, very flowy. And as the music continues to build, you know, and it drops, he pulls out, you know, the insane fierceness of the impacting combos. And to me, you know, he puts a lot of himself and his body into the show, and you can really feel his presence in there. And then when we move over to Mega Sloth, he's on the other side of the spectrum. You know, Mega Sloth is just so strong at his complexity and is so methodical with his style, so crisp and so clean in his execution. You know, I mean, you can't pick at a Mega Sloth show and point out a specific flaw within his technique. And so, you know, those two, two completely different strains, two completely different styles, and, you know, we'll see um, who comes out on top from that matchup, but definitely super fun one to watch. And let's talk about the next one. Next one is Starlight versus Puppet. Both fellow teammates of the Amazing Lights sponsorship program. Always fun to go against your friends and your teammates because number one, it's fun. And two, when you're going against your friends, you go extra hard because you want to beat them so bad so that you can just talk smack forever on them. Um, but let's talk about Starlight Show. Starlight Show, her show has always been known to me for, you know, her presentation and the aura that she puts in there. It's very um, theatrical, if you want to call it that. Um, she just really throws herself in there um, and presents herself strong. And her execution balanced with that was also really great. And then we have Puppet on the other end. You know, Puppet's a very versatile Glover, so he can almost pull out anything he wants at any time. For this specific show, what I noticed that he decided to really um, focus on, or at least from my perspective, my perception of watching the show, um, was more of the technique. You know, he kept it super clean, focused on a lot of the concepts, making sure they were very crisp. You know, he busted out his triangle, whatever concept, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys out, whatever. Whatever he does, obviously I can't do what he does. Has a very, uh, you know, you, you can't mess up with those concepts, otherwise it looks terrible, just like I just showed you. But, um, you know, he decided to pull that out. And again, super, super solid show from Puppet, as kind of we all expect. We don't really expect anything less from them. But again, both of them really brought it. 
Um, I think I think Starlight told me she took a ton of takes, and Puppet told me a ton of takes, like over 20 takes each or 40 takes or whatever. Um, they're really fighting for that top eight spot. So just in a few minutes, let's find out who makes it. Um, next one I want to talk about is another family-friendly battle. It was Team Money versus Tranquil. Both of them are on PM, the Puppet Masters, very well-established light show family, crew, um, team, whatever you want to consider it. But again, these two going at it super hard, but they're definitely focusing on their strengths within their shows. Team Money, again, focusing on the crisp cleanliness, you know, the super structured angles and um, all that felt just, it's, he felt, he focused a lot more on his technique in this show versus the last round where I felt like he threw in um, some presence, right? This one, he went full on technique. Whereas Tranquil focused a lot more on the performance, musicality aspect of things. You know, with Tranquil, that's always been one of his bigger strains. He's part of Move On Beat MLB. Shout out to you guys. Um, some of the best lovers with the best me musicality in there. And, you know, Tranquil definitely um, decided to showcase that side of things. So within that battle, you got, you know, you know, super crisp execution versus super strong musicality. God, I'm so happy I am not judging these again because they're so different. And the last matchup, I want to talk about really quickly because this one, oh man, this one is the, was, in my opinion, the toughest one for me to watch. And if I had to judge it, I don't know what I would do with myself because, you know, these two guys also are up and coming glovers. You know, they're not well established in the general gloving community, like all the other names I've mentioned, but their shows are definitely at that high level. And I have no doubt that if they continue to do their shows and execute this way consistently, they can make a name for themselves. Who I'm talking about is Thomas versus Bimo. Thomas is from Australia, holding it down, you know, for the international spots within this competition. And his primary style is impacting. Um, again, Thomas has super, crisp execution when it comes to impacting. For those unfamiliar with impacting, you have to be very, very precise and methodical within uh, that style because there's not much room for error. If you mess up in that style, extremely obvious. Sometimes I just stop my entire show if I mess up and if I'm filming because it really does ruin the whole show. So right away, Thomas is so consistent with that. Um, BMO, you know, He's a tech monster. Um, his show felt so natural, so clean. And, you know, when he's giving a show, it just feels like he doesn't really need to think about it. You know, a lot of times they watch tech shows. You can tell the person is staring at their fingers or looking elsewhere, thinking about their next transition or their next move, or their face just looks like they're struggling to bend their fingers, you know, the right way. BMO just looks like he's just having fun with it, like he's been doing this for years since the beginning of time. And, you know, he just feels comfortable. And, um, you know, I think that's what sets apart the good glovers from the, or the great glovers from the good glovers is you just do it and you make it look easy when everyone knows damn well that it is not easy to do. And so, again, completely different styles. We got Thomas on the impacting, BMO on the tech, completely straight solid shows in my opinion. But let's find out who made it into the next round. Uh, camera guy, can you throw up the top eight right there? Bam. And there it is. We have the top eight. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of talk <laughs> around these. I mean, uh, a lot of these are very tough to choose the winners. You know, again, shout outs to the judges for being able to score these because Looking at these just gives me anxiety. But, you know, Mega Sloth does move on past Havoc. Puppet moves on against Starlight, or past Starlight. BMO beats out Thomas. Um, Long beats out Zero. Outlaw beats out Risky Business. Team Money beats out Tranquil. Corduroy beats out Cloud. And Paradigm beats out Megatron. I mean, honestly, looking at this from a personal perspective, I'm a little sad because, yeah, 
a lot of impactor has gotten knocked out this round, but you know, there's nothing I can do about that. You guys all honestly through super solid shows. It just so happens that your competitors, you know, um, outscored you on that. But hey, you know, let's move it on. We got top eight coming very soon for the top eight competitors. Please get your videos in by this Sunday. What date is that? Let me see, I wrote it down here. Get your videos in by this Sunday, September 10th by 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. All the competitors have been doing a great job at getting the videos in on time, so I don't doubt that you'll do it again and help me out there. Um, but yeah, congratulations to you guys. I'm really looking forward to the top eight matchups. Looks like we now have Mega Sloth versus Puppet. We got BMO versus Long. We got Outlaw versus Team Money. And we got Corduroy versus Paradigm. So those are some insane matchups. Everyone's one step closer to the $1,500 grand prize. And uh, yeah, I mean, congrats for everyone else who didn't make it, for everyone else who wants to compete. Continue to lab and practice because I'm going to announce season two very soon. We're this close. And I know I say that every week, but we're this close to announcing it. I'm finalizing a couple of last details, and then I'm going to open it up um, for some time so that you guys can all enter. We select the finalists, and then we move on to season two, and then we just keep doing this over and over. But uh, anyways, don't want to take any more of your time. Peace.